Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're in North Sumatra in Bukit Lawang and we've got one of the most unique species of snakes, unique genuses of snakes, the flying snakes. This is the paradise flying snake and this is a medium sized flying snake. There's five species of these guys and they occur all the way from West India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia and to the Indonesian islands, Sumatra and Borneo. They're absolutely incredibly well adapted snakes. They evolved up high in the canopy and filled up the niche of extremely arboreal species. So these guys are very rare to find and to actually work with considering their highly arboreal nature. They have incredible climbing capabilities. They've got ridged little underscales on their bellies which allows them to climb up vertical trees, pretty much a flat, flat surface where they undulate up the tree, use their belly scales to be able to climb up and get up back into the canopy. Now, like their name suggests, these guys are flying snakes or gliding snakes. They don't actually fly, meaning they're not able to gain any altitude, but um, they'll sit up in the canopy. And because a lot of the very tall trees up at the top are not always connected, they use their gliding abilities to be able to get from tree to tree. So they also use it to potentially escape predators up in the trees and also to avoid predators down on the ground. Once they're up in the treetops and they've decided to make a descent to another tree, they will make a J-shaped um, undulation in their neck, at which point they'll calculate which tree they want to head to or head for, and then they will literally lunge and throw themselves into the air, at which point they will flatten their ribs and their body to make a frisbee disc like appearance uh, pretty much widening their body to two two and a half times their width and at that point the snake will start winding its head from side to side in a serpentine motion which will allow the snake to undulate through the through the air and it will use its tail in a kind of propeller type manner and kind of keep its balance and keep the direction it wants to go at which point it will be reaching its destination. It will drop down its tail like an anchor pretty much or like a little safety line. And due to their very arboreal nature and prehensile tail like you can see she's holding on here. It will use it as an anchor to be able to catch itself from its little glide. And when I say little glide, they can actually glide up to 100 meters between trees and are actually far better gliders than their mammalian counterparts, which is your flying squirrels, etc. So an extremely well adapted species of snake. So these guys are back fang snakes. They've got tiny little back fangs and they're considered completely harmless to human beings, but are very efficient gecko and lizard hunters, as well as birds and bats that will be found up in the trees and up in the canopy. So this is a diurnal species of snake. They've got extremely good vision, helping them spot their prey up in the treetops. And they're very active hunters. They'll spot their prey and they'll cruise after them through the canopy in this very, very fast and efficient way. It's really an absolute privilege to be able to be handling one of these snakes. They very rarely come down to the ground and to be able to see this beautiful coloration of this paradise tree snake, you can see why it's been called a paradise tree snake. It's got this beautiful checkered marking on the top of red and flecks of black and green on the sides with this beautiful green yellowish body on the underside. 
absolutely stunning stunning snake this is not the biggest species of flying snake uh, the ornate flying snake is the biggest one reaching about 1.2 meters and this guy reaching between around 75 to around a meter in length these are quite popular in the pet trade uh, around Europe and America and they actually tend to do okay in captivity but really an absolutely stunning snake I think one of the most beautiful snakes I've had the pleasure of working here in Sumatra and wow what an absolute pleasure it is to be able to see this incredible little snake it's just amazing it's wow I mean just wow look at that it just wants to you can see how it has that ability it wants to just look at that look at that how it just wants to make that little jump let's see if it can do it demonstrate it for the cameras You see you that? It. Very, very cool. So you can see it preloads, spring loads itself, gets ready for the jump, picks a place, and whoop, launches nice. itself out. This is the first species of flying snake we've got out here. But now we've got, I've got another treat for you guys. And I'm going to pull out the second and probably the rarest species of flying snake out of the five. And what a snake that is to see. So give me a second. So guys, here we have the second little species of flying or gliding snake. Woo, she came out quick. And this is the twin barred flying snake or gliding snake. And this is absolutely stunning. A far rarer species of, of gliding snake. You can see the difference and why it's called twin barred flying snake. It's got these beautiful red bars down the side of it. It's absolutely stunning. And this is, like I said, the smallest species of the five flying snakes you get in the world. So this is probably a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to see this snake. Like I said before, incredible climbers, incredible little gliders. So due to this guy's smaller size, they won't be as good a gliders as your paradise flying snakes, but will be much, big, much, much better than your ornate flying snake, which is your larger species. The other two species are very unknown, so a lot more to be studied about this genus of snakes. A highly arboreal, living up in the canopy, rarely seen by people. Now these snakes evolved um, in the biggest and oldest rainforests in the world, where you find majority of your flying mammalian species and your flying draco lizards and your flying snakes and that's due to the extremely high canopies that were found and associated with this region of the world. So these guys really found a niche up in the high, high canopies, 30, 40 meters up in the canopy. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful snake. So guys, here we've had two flying snakes or gliding snakes, the paradise flying snake, as well as the twin barred flying snake. These two snakes actually overlap in distribution. So I found in the same area here in Sumatra, in North Sumatra. And it's been an absolute privilege to be able to work and show you guys these two species. Both lifers for me. And I highly doubt I'll get a chance again to see this guy in the wild. So on that note, if you liked this video, please do subscribe, hit that notifications bell. And remember to stand for what we stand on.